Just a little spoiler, it starts talking about a volcano. And I was very intrigued. How was, dare you? <laughs> I, was, I was like, wow. Like, and and it, it starts out with facts. And I've been a member my whole life. And I'm not ashamed to say, I didn't know some of the things that they were telling me. Okay, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just Three Mormons here. And we're going to talk about something really cool today. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is coming out with a series of books, volumes of books about church history. And that initially, don't, don't, that sounds don't really click boring. off. That sounds, that sounds really, really boring. boring. TVH. But these ones are a little different because they're written in a non-boring academic <laughs> church historian type of way like it's they're, they're narratives they're, they're narratives right, right. they're written like a storybook which is really cool of course it has real history in it but you know you're not reading the scriptures per se does that make sense well and that's yeah. that's a good note is these aren't scriptures this isn't going to take place of reading the book of mormon or anything but it's a way to learn about church history enjoy church history yeah you're, you're, you're gonna yeah. learn it all from the beginning from before the birth of joseph smith to however long we haven't read the other one. I was going to say, probably until right now in three months. But, uh, so, but so I think that's really cool. So you can get your church history. You can read it like you're reading Harry Potter or Narnia or whatever the nerdy books you guys read. And you can read them. It'll be a lot, a lot of fun. You can read it like you're reading Star Wars or Star Trek or Star Burst. And so it's, it's just great. <laughs> um, just like any other book, really, it has it has this story arc, and I, I started reading the this first chapter, and I was very impressed. Just this little spoiler, it starts talking about a volcano. And I was very intrigued. How I was, dare you? <laughs> I, was, true. I was like, wow. Like, and and it, it starts out with facts, and I've been a member my whole life, and I'm not ashamed to say I didn't know some of the things that they were telling me, but mm -hmm. it was in such an easy, like so so easy to understand. Yeah. It wasn't boring. I was intrigued to see, like, oh, how is this going to connect to the gospel? And, and I loved it. And I think as more chapters come out, I think people are going to be very surprised to see just how amazing church history is. It's and so how beautiful great. it is. And it really isn't that complicated. Just a lot of wonderful miracles. So I'm really, I'm, I'm super pumped. I, I don't yeah. know, like, was there anything else in the chapter that you found so, interesting? So uh, I, I think what I like most about this uh, chapter and, and future chapters is that uh, they're, not, they're not pulling any punches here. Like, they're, mm. they're telling church history, how it happened, uh, in, in a way that, you know, you can read it basically any age. Young adults can read it. Um, but it does mention things like the volcano. And, you know, things that happened in Joseph Smith's family or, or uh, parts of Joseph Smith's history that you wouldn't normally hear about in Sunday school or mm -hmm. in sacrament meeting. Right. And, and, and we've, as, as, you know, you've heard Joseph Smith's story so many times, you know, as, yeah. as a missionary, you know, everybody you meet, you tell it. But this just had a, a wonderful way, a very like, a beautiful way of telling us how Joseph Smith got to where he did as, as a child to mm -hmm. want to ask God about the true church. Right. And so it's definitely worth the read. Yes, and if you want to, um, if you want to read more about it, all you have to do is go to saints.lds.org or the Gospel Library app. So you just go to the Gospel, right. download the app. Even you non-Mormons who wanna, who are investigating, you download that just app. You Bible download that app right now. Don't you? Don't you stop Book doing Mormon. it? You got all the scriptures. You got the conference. It's great. And the music. And the music. Yeah. So what they're doing is the church is every month releasing a new chapter, and then once they've yes. released. All the chapters, then they're going to put them all the in the book. So it's basically going to be like, you know, The Bachelor, where every week, except it's every but month. But every month, you get it never to, ends. You get to have a new episode. <laughs> it's even better than The Bachelor. Consume. And every month, we're also going to be releasing a video um, just talking about the chapter and, and, I don't know, the experience we had with it. And so you can look forward to that. How many languages is it in? One. Oh. <laughs> That is ah, incorrect. Dang it. Good. Correct answer. I'm just kidding. I knew it wasn't. 14. That's one more than 13. That's two one. more than 12. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get this question so much because, you know, we, we Mormons, we, we're proud of our churches. We'd like to talk about it, right, right Tom? Because we, we, have a, we have a history. Uh, in the same way, the Lutherans are very proud of, you know, Martin Luther, the 95 Theses, nailing it to the door. It's a cool. We've got a lot of really cool stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. And so you, with these books, you can, in a narrative way that isn't so academic or isn't so old Englishy, you can just read the history from the Restoration forward. And it is a wonderful series of books to read. So we hope you guys can join us. We can have like a little book club. You know, like we, we We've read been the trying chapter. to do that. I want yeah, everyone yeah. to have a book club. We Saints is the book. We read the chapter every month and then we just discuss. And you guys put in the comments how you felt. 
This this one we didn't want to too, put too many spoilers, but probably we'll talk more about what's actually going on in the other episodes. But but yeah, we're just really excited to be able to share this and looking forward to just experiencing this whole all all the church history with you guys. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to plug real quick just so yeah. we have somewhat of a summary of the chapter. So this chapter, if you haven't read it yet, I'll give you a little spoiler. Um Normally, when you hear about the story of Joseph Smith, you start out with him in New York with his family, and they're poor, and they're on a farm, and those are their circumstances. This first chapter starts to explain how they ended up in those circumstances. And as Justin mentioned, it involves partially a volcano. So... If you want to see more of our episodes, go ahead, like, and subscribe. If, if you want to follow us as we talk about the Saints chapters, well... Definitely. That will be in its own out. playlist too, I assume. Mm-hmm. And, and then we've got Instagram and Twitter, Twitter mm-hmm. Facebook. Have a notification bell. It apparently makes a sound. I, <laughs> that's what I've heard. I've heard it makes a sound. I, I don't know. Um, Join our book club. Sufficiently awkward ending. Three more moves. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs>